question we'll be working on in this video reads, on February 19th, 2010, Mercury will appear to have an angular size of 5.2 arc seconds, and Mercury will be 1.3 AU from Earth. What is the approximate physical diameter in kilometers of Mercury? All right, the equation that we're going to be using to work on this is from your book, and it says that the angular size divided by 360 degrees is equal to the physical size divided by 2 times pi times the distance. All right, the physical size is the diameter. So the first thing I'm going to do is rearrange this equation so that the physical size is by itself on one side of the equation. So what I can do is multiply both sides by the things that are in the denominator here. So this is going to look like 2 pi times the distance times the angular size divided by 360 degrees is equal to, over here we had the physical size divided by this 2 pi times distance, but we also multiplied this 2 pi times distance. So these are going to cancel out. So 2 pi times the distance times the angular size divided by 360 degrees is the physical size. Okay, so the thing we're interested is by its interested in is by itself over here. Everything else is on the other side. There are two variables, the distance and the angular size. All right, let's go back and look at the question and see if we can get those. Well, here we go. Angular size, 5.2 arc seconds. Those units are going to be pretty important. The distance is the 1.3 AU, where AU stands for astronomical unit. All right, so we have some numbers that we can put in for distance and angular size. Here, let me extend the page. But I'm not sure that they're quite how we want them. So for distance, we have 1.3, that's a 3 AU. I think we want the overall physical size to be in kilometers. So to be consistent, any other length that we use in the problem should be in kilometers. So let's convert this. There are, you can look this up in the back of your book, 1.496 times 10 to the 8 kilometers per astronomical unit. So this gives us a distance of, you might want to pause this, try it yourself, push play when you're ready to check your answer. The distance is 1.945 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. All right, how about angular size? Well, the problem told us that it was 5.2 arc seconds. 
But in the formula, we need to divide the angular size by 360 degrees. So we need angular size to be in degrees as well. Otherwise, the units are not going to cancel. So 5.2 arc seconds, let's convert that. First, we'll convert it to arc minutes. So one arc minute is 60 arc seconds. And then we want degrees. One degree is 60 arc minutes. And so you can put this into your calculator. And I get the angular size is 1.44 times 10 to the minus 3 degrees. All right. I think we're ready to rewrite our equation and put numbers in for all the variables. So we've got 2 times pi times the distance, which was 1.945 times 10 to the 8 kilometers. And we'll multiply it by the angular size on top. 1.44 is 10 to the minus 3 degrees divided by 360 degrees. And this is going to equal the physical size, which we said was the diameter. All right, need a little more page here. Okay, you can put this into your calculator. Uh, if you want to do it in steps, that might not be a bad idea. If you put it all into your calculator once and you find that you don't get the right answer, I would really recommend breaking it down into steps. Um, but here we go. I'm going to go ahead and give you the, the final answer here. Physical size. going to work out to be 4.88 times 10 to the 3 kilometers. That's 4,880 kilometers. So again, if you didn't get the right answer, then you might go back to this equation and start by just calculating this part here. And then once you get that number, just multiply it step by step by this number, and then by the 2 pi, or even by the pi, and then finally by the 2. We can check this answer by looking up in the back of the book, page A14, lists properties of the planets. It gives the radius of Mercury, so you're going to want to multiply that number by 2. But you'll find that uh, 484, sorry, 4,880 kilometers is, is a good answer for this problem.